Alrighty, so Harness Elements dropped the Venom Gator V2 recently. So here's my review on it. All right, sizes. That's the first thing I'm gonna let you know. The sizes is only calf size, all of the lengths is exactly the same. So from this point here, where the stitching is, up until the top here, I measured it as 43 centimeters. Yeah, so if you've got uh, short legs from knee to foot, probably not gonna fit for you too well, particularly because of this part here, which we'll get into a little bit later. This gray version is not silenced. Now, if you look at the photo, it looks to be, so where my mouse is now, that looks like to be a different fabric to here. On the actual ones you buy, it's all that material. Um, so I don't know if this is just a weird promo version or what, but it's not silenced. Um, so when my mate bought these, I actually used my mates for this uh, review, which he just got. Um, when my mate contacted Hunter's Element and he was like, you know, is it silenced? Um, they said, um, something along the lines of like, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's quieter than the old version. Um, they didn't really say that, no, it's not silenced. Um, but yeah, I'll flick the actual screenshot of what they've set up. All right, just from looking at this photo, one thing I can tell you is this buckle here for the excess strap does not actually exist. It's not on the gaiters when you buy them. Yeah, we've got some cool fucking pictures. You don't get those. You don't get those. Um, they're optional extras for like 15 bucks. Um, all right, we got here, yep, they all say that. Like Chuck Norris, I'm way tougher than a deadly snake. Cool beans. Designed in good old New Zealand and made with supreme care by our mates in PRC. For those of you who are not well versed in geography, PRC is the People's Republic of China. So yes, they are made in China. China. That's a good little marketing ploy to make it look like they're not for people who are dumb and don't know what the PRC is. So there you go. All right, let's jump off the computer, jump on the couch, and we'll dive into looking at these in a comparison with the V1s. Hi, hi, hello, and welcome to the couch. So here we have version ones and version twos. So these version ones are mine, um, and if you've seen my other review, them versus the Morocco 30 ones, um, then you know what the fuck I'm talking about. These are the version ones, uh, and they're in extra large, and then these version twos are in large. So these are my mates, he's lent to me, thank you very much, so I can do this review. Um, let's crack into talking about the differences between the two because, all right, I'll start from the start, I haven't worn these out to do a full field test because they're not mine and they don't fit me because they're larges and extra larges, but from looking at them, you can tell that they are pretty much the same thing with some slight variations and the things I don't like about these are still on these. So my opinion is not really gonna change. So if you've seen the last review, you probably know where this is going. Right, as you can see, they look fairly similar, right? This buckle and strap is exactly the same, literally the same buckle. Uh, this one's a slightly different color. The strap is exactly the same. Um, these ones are orange, I believe on the camouflage version, it's not orange anyway, but nothing's really changed. The strap's the same, the buckle's the same. All right, these push studs here. So the push studs themselves are actually the same. Same cover on them and all that sort of stuff. Um, just that the version twos have two push studs and the version ones have one. Um, so I don't really know why they've done that, but anyway, that just one push stud at the very top of the Velcro and then one at the top there. Probably to stop extra stuff from getting into that little gap at the top there. Um, there seems to be a longer gap between the top of the Velcro and the top of the Gator compared to the version ones with the top of the Velcro and the top of the Gator. Yeah, the Velcro seems to be a little bit thinner on the version twos, as in width-wise that way. Um, yeah, you have this extra stitch here, which you don't have on the version ones. Now on the camouflage version, this part here is all cam, which leaves this part here um, as canvas, which you don't have on the version one. But don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. All right, once again, we've got double push studs as opposed to a single push stud. Um, and then the bottom of the gator is pretty much the same from what it looks like. It would appear though that the length of the tab, the old version is slightly longer 
and where that is pushed, uh, sorry, where that is riveted in is slightly further down. So this might sit f closer up uh, slightly, but that might be because of the size. It might not necessarily be because they've actually changed the design. All right, the part at the back, which is the part I do not like about these at all, is this uh, webbing here. It'll be easier if I show you one of these ones here. All right, so this part here, it's a very thick extra layer of canvas that's stitched in. And because it's doubled over canvas and the way it's stitched, it doesn't actually flex. It does when you look at it like this, but you've got this hard corner of canvas. And that does dig into the back of your leg, especially considering the length of them is fixed. I've had a lot of dramas with that digging in the back, back of my legs, particularly when wearing gaiters and shorts. When you're wearing slacks, um, it still does it, but it's not as annoying. Um, but you know, summer in Australia gets fucking hot and it's usually when we wear gaiters when we're hunting. So most people were gonna wear shorts and gaiters. Um, I've never worn them with any sort of long johns or um, tights underneath. That might alleviate that problem. Um, but for me personally, with just shorts and then the gaiters, um, not a massive fan, two out of 10 would not bang. The way it sits onto the boot is pretty much the same. Sits at the same line. Um, and as you, you would have seen in my other review, the um, shoelace hook um, is not very well suited for boots with a higher uh, shoelace starting point like Garmin's. Yeah, you know, if you're wearing other boots, they might work perfectly fine, but with these ones, you see I had to add elastic uh, to keep them from riding up because I wasn't gonna pay the 15 bucks for a piece of fucking rope wire. Do I think they're gonna be good gaiters? Yeah, look, potentially they are good gaiters. They are probably good for a lot of different people. Um, in my personal taste and my opinion, after wearing them for a long time, uh, I don't like them, um, particularly that back part there. There are a few other little things here and there that I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not a massive fan of. But the crux of it is I find them uncomfortable because of this back part here, which is why I changed it. So I had these for a couple of years um, and then I got rid of them to get uh, Morocco 31s. The Hunter's Element version two, if, you are getting, if you've already got V1s, I would say don't go and get V2s. If you don't have either and you'll wanna get Gators, I would say get the V2s. Um, there are a few little, they're, they're cut very slightly differently. Um, so I believe that these ones would probably function a little bit better and they may be a little bit more comfortable. Um, but the difference between these and these is minor enough that I would say if you already have V1s and you like them, don't bother going to V2s um, because you're gonna be buying, we're paying extra money for not much extra. Well, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I'll catch you next review. Eric.